Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Sue is heading to the store to get some pet treats. But first, she needs to crack open her piggy bank to get some of her money. Sue has a lot of different types of money in her piggy bank. Here is a penny. This is the head of a penny, and this is the tail. The head of a coin means the front, and the tail of a coin means the back. A penny is worth one cent. We can write one cent with a cents symbol like this, or with a dollar symbol like this. This one is easy to identify because it is copper, not silver like the other coins. Here is a nickel. It is the medium-sized silver coin and also a little thicker. A nickel is worth five cents and is written using a cents symbol or a dollar symbol. A cents symbol looks like a C with a line through it. A dollar sign looks like a capital S with a line through it. This is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents and can be written like this. It is the smallest silver coin. The last type of coin that Sue has is called a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. This one is the largest silver coin. I like the eagle that it usually has on the back. Sue also has some dollar bills. This is the front and the back of a dollar bill. A dollar bill is worth one dollar and can be written only with a dollar sign like this. Now we are going to see some different combinations of coins. If you want to go get some coins of your own to use, go ahead and pause this video to get some. We'll wait. Sue promised her little brother she would give him some money for gum at the store. Here are the coins she gave him. One way to count up all the coins is to find the total value of each coin type and add them. Let's try that. To start, there is one quarter, which is 25 cents. Next, count the dimes. There are three dimes. Since a dime is worth 10 cents, we can skip count by tens to find out how much the three dimes are worth. 10, 20, 30. These dimes are worth 30 cents altogether. Let's count the nickels now. There are two nickels. Each nickel is worth five cents, so two nickels are worth 10 cents, since five plus five equals 10. Lastly, there are two pennies. Each penny is worth one cent, so two pennies are worth two cents. We have 25 cents, 30 cents, 10 cents, and two cents. Let's add up these amounts to find the total value. 25 plus 30 is 55. We can find that by skip counting up by tens. 25, 35, 45, 55. 55 plus 10 is 65. And 65 plus two is 67. Sue gave her brother 67 cents. Great work. Now, Sue is taking some money for her trip to the pet store. Here is what she is taking. Let's figure out how much money Sue is taking. She has $5 bills. That is $5 to start. Now, let's set those aside as we count up all the coins. Oftentimes, it is easiest to start with the coins that have the largest value. That's the quarter, so let's start there. There are two quarters. Each quarter is worth 25 cents, so that is 50 cents, since 25 plus 25 is 50. The next largest value is the dime. That is 10 cents each, and there are six of them. Let's skip count by tens to find the total value of the dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. These dimes are worth 60 cents. Then there are the nickels. There are three nickels, so skip count by fives to find the value of the nickels. Five, 10, 15. These nickels are worth 15 cents. Finally, there are four pennies. Since each penny is worth one cent, that is four cents altogether. Let's add up the value of all the coins. First, we have 50 cents and 60 cents. Together, that makes 110 cents. Then add 15 cents to get 125 cents. Finally, add 4 cents to get 129 cents. That's a lot of cents. 
You probably don't hear many people talk about more than 100 cents at a time. That's because once you have reached 100 cents, you have a whole dollar. One dollar equals 100 cents. That's a lot of cents. So, we can subtract 100 from 129 and add that dollar of coins to our $5 bills. That leaves us with 29 cents. So, we have the $5 from the bills, $1 from the coins, and 29 cents from the coins. Together, that makes $6.29. We can write that like this. $6.29. So, Sue is taking $6.29 to the pet store. Great work! You have learned about the value of different coins and the dollar bill. You know that a dollar bill is worth one dollar, a quarter is worth 25 cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, a nickel is worth five cents, and a penny is worth one cent. You have learned strategies for counting up coins of different values. Often, it helps to start with a coin of the largest value. You can count the value of each coin type and then add them all together. And if you have more than 100 cents, that makes a dollar, so you can subtract 100 from your total number of cents. Lastly, you learned how to write a dollar sign and a cent sign. Remember, a dollar sign always goes in the front and the cent sign always goes in the back, but you never use both at the same time. See you soon, my mighty friend.